some people may say to me, Kevin, I like sinning and I don't want to live for Jesus Christ right now. Can I ask you something? Why do you believe you have so much time? Is it because you eat kale, celery, broccoli, apples and oranges? Is it because you eat healthy? Do you believe that alone is going to make you live for a very long time? Maybe you jog or exercise or do whatever. Is that the reason why you believe you are going to live a long time? Can't you get shot? Can't you be murdered? Can't bad things happen to you? Like, why do you believe you have so much time to play around? Kevin, I'm 18. You know, I have my whole life ahead of me. Aren't there 18-year-olds, 20-year-olds, whatever-year-olds dying? Aren't there? But why do you believe you have so much time? Can you predict when you are going to die? Do many people know they are going to die when they die? Maybe not. But for some reason, I guess you assume or think that you have so much time. Isn't that strange? If you die and you chose to do what is wrong when you know it is wrong, and if you die in that state without repenting or trying to change, what do you believe is going to happen? Hell, right? So you are willing to sacrifice so much, so much, for so little, the sinful pleasures of this world are so little compared to eternity, right? Why do you believe you have so much time? Think about that. You may say life on earth is hell. Okay, let's say earth, life on earth is hell. So if life on earth is hell, imagine how worse the actual hell is. If life on earth is hell, why go somewhere worse than where you are at now? Right? You may want to seek for revenge. You, you may want to hurt people because you have been hurt. Look now. Even if you live in, until you are 100, what is that compared to eternity? Our lives on this earth is short. Give your life to Jesus Christ while you still have the chance. Right? Like, this may be a bad example, <laughs> but... If I told you, let me give you $20 for your $150. Let me give you $10 for your $1,000. Like, you would probably say no, right? Why? Because it is not worth it. Please listen to what I am saying. You are gambling. Choosing to live without Jesus Christ 
or should I say choosing to go against his rules is folly. It is not worth it. Please listen. Even if you can get all the women in the whole world or all the men, all the money, all the homes, all the ice cream, is that worth missing out on heaven? Is that worth being tormented in hell? Is it? Give me all the money. Give me all the women. Give me all the TVs, VCRs, cars. Give me all that stuff. And it is still not worth missing out on heaven for. Is it? I think some people are rejecting Jesus Christ because of a job or a woman, or a man, or something that is in the whole picture of things. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> like insignificant stuff. Look now. You are wasting your life. I think some people may say, if you are not working so much, if you are not focused on making money to buy a house and a car and this and that, some people may say you are wasting your life because you are not so much trying to build a life on this earth. But we are not going to be here long. Why, like if you know that the tide, T-I-D-E, is going to come in, why spend so much time in building a very nice sand castle thinking that it is going to stay there like why place so much effort and time in something when everything you have on that place is going to be destroyed isn't this earth going to be remade i believe i forget where i was reading at but um I may have this wrong, but I think it says something about like everything on earth is going to be burned. Like the land, I believe the atmosphere, like everything is going to be burned. Please correct me if I am wrong about this, but I believe I read it somewhere I forget. So if that is true, if everything is going to be destroyed, why work so hard earthly wise? As in, why place the majority of my focus in this life? Since eternity is longer than my stay on this earth, shouldn't I be doing things to prepare myself for eternity? Please listen to what I am saying. So even if I don't have a car, a house, an airplane, a jet, and a whole bunch of clothes, let me focus on what is important than, what word am I trying to use? Other than insignificant stuff, right? You are not going to be here long, right? And what you do have, can you take it to heaven? God, I want to take my TV and my laptop and my phone and my shoes to heaven. I don't think you can do that, can you? 
Can you take your possessions to hell? Like, God, I know I have to go to hell, but let me, you know, take some shoes and sandals down there too. Can you do that? I don't think so, can you? So if you can't, focus on what is important. Focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on living for him. Focus on what the Bible tells us to do. I know that all of us may not do everything right, but strive for perfection, right? Let me stop here. God bless you.